right, ladies and gentlemen, Greg M here with your sports report, talking predictions for World Athletic Champion Championships in Budapest. And I'm looking at um, one of my favorite events, the 200 meters. It's such a technical race, you know, to have to run the, the, the curve, you know, from the start, drive phase, the curve, powering off the curve until the straight area is maintaining form and all that, you know, and then show and showcasing top end speed. But here are one of the guys I'm looking at to maybe improve. I only have a 19.67 point, but so far he has run a 19 seven something um, already. Uh, this Zarnell Hughes from Great Britain. And I'm looking for him to improve. He could run better than this. No, my, my prediction is not edged in stone because they may do better or do worse come the day of reckoning, all right? So Zarnell Hughes is one of the guys I'm looking to be in the top. Somebody else could surprise, we don't know. Next. Arian Knight, right? Is it gonna be no problem for him? Right? He's gonna get back at least to 1955. You know he's run 1949 before, but then he never duplicated that again. He's a little older, more experienced on this belt. With 19.55 be no problem for him. Uh, when he come out and be a shocker going after the world record attempt and upset everybody, including Noah Lyles and everybody else that's up for the challenge, right? Cause we already covered Zarnell Hughes, you know, is he gonna be awesome and shock everybody and show vast improvement, all right? So next, my other prediction is, let's see the Tobago, right? And this guy here has shown a lot of promise. That last race where he was right on the line there with Noah Lyles. He ran that 19.5, right? And Noah Lyles came out there and ran that 19.4 for um, plus, all right? So, this guy, I think, has a lot to go. He's, he's a young guy too. Him and Aaron Knight are young. And um, I'm looking for him to be a shocker. To be honest with you, he's young, but after running that, 44.7 and he's been running some 9.91s and all that right I think he's yet to go even faster and by now leading up to the world championship this weekend he's probably tuned up and ready to go to set the track on fire right so last but least last but not least Noah Lyles the leader the leader in the world the 200 in, in the world this year top man fastest man in the world at 200 Threatening to break Usain Bolt record. I think he's threatening what to run what 19.10. Anything is possible. Is he gonna sail through easy and and just dismantle everybody else in the field? Or is he gonna have a warm time or get upset by one of these other guys? So right now I'm predicting him because of his consistency and his motivation and his drive. He has that fire, right? If he's healthy, I'm possibly giving him the, 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 you know, the possibility of running 19.25. I know y'all have been looking at the times. That's my prediction. If he runs or make an attempt and everything is right, atmosphere, you know, environment right, wind condition is right, you know, he's, he's highly motivated. You know what I'm saying? He's on fire. So let's see if he's going to sail through and, 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 and win the, the, the goal and get the time. I don't think he's going to get the world record, but I like surprise. So I, I have him for the, for the goal, unless he gets upset by this man. Tobogo, and this guy could end up running a 19.42. Or he could go faster, who knows if he might get down to the 19 too, also the way he's running. But I'm looking for him to get at least second and better that 19.5 run a 19.42. And then I'm looking for this young guy also, no problem. He could challenge for second too. If he ever gets back down to the 19.4. And, uh, and, uh, and, but I'm looking at him at third place with a 19.55. And Zarnell Hughes 
for do an awesome 19.67 that's my prediction all right let's take a, a look at the, the the world lead times and and discuss a little bit more right why i'm thinking that no i'm looking at the world list right reason why i'm um, um make my predictions the way i made it right but budapest of course the number one rank is no alive right you see he ran that 19.47 right with a plus 1.6 win on the 23rd of july then we got let's see who showed vast improvement right young guy from Botswana. let's see the tobogo in that same race surprise i think and and you know no lies might not be shot might be saying he's not shot but i'm sure he was shot when he crossed that line that man was right there that young man i should say that at least 19.50 on 23rd of, of July also. Then we have area 19 with a 19.72. You know, far cry from his 19.49 he ran. What is that? No, I think he ran that in 2022. Right? In an early meet. And he ran currently 1972. And he's probably trying to peak at the right time because, you know, when he ran that 19.4 the last time, and shocked everybody um he might have picked too early and he wasn't able to duplicate that or go any faster and everybody thought because of the potential he showed at 18 everybody thought that you know you know man this young guy is gonna go faster so he's maturing into his role him yeah, and let's see let's see they made a big improvement let's see if he's gonna keep that up or even improve more because you see with area 19 194 never never came back close to that even though for these young guys 18 19 20 running these kind of times when i was running track and field i was happy to run 20.6 20.7 and i thought i was running now you have zarnia Hughes, 19.73 same meet right july 23rd and that was a a a, a, a pretty much a personal best find and I think a new UK record, right? And then you have other guys in, ranked in the top. 1976. You got James Dadzi from um, Ghana, 1979. Don't rule out Kenneth Bednarik. You know, that guy could come out and be a shocker, right? Fred Curley didn't make it this time and the other guys are just gonna have to step it up but these are my top guys I'm looking at right and anybody is surprised you know this is sports you know sometimes for the big moments they some guys might just be just a little bit above average throughout the season and then the major events at the Olympics World Championship they're shocking everybody and coming out of nowhere and blowing away the field. Shocking the champions and all that. But we expect it. The champions usually, you know, are consistent and, and get the job done and win, win and defend their championships or the titles. But this is my take. Um, Noah Lyles should be the man. I think he could run 19.25. Maybe not the world record, but who knows what kind. We'll see how he looks in the rounds. If he's running 19 fours in the rounds and looking easy or maybe drop a 19 three, you know, seven or eight or something like that in the semis, I'm going to be looking for the world, rec world record to be challenged. So Noah Lyles, let's see the Tobogo. I think can go 19 four, seven at least. And who knows are better the way he's looking. Aaron Knighton could improve down to the 19 five at least for third place. And Zanel user unfortunately, is going to be back there in the fourth place. And, you know, that's my pick for now, and that's what I'm looking at. Like I said, it's not edged in stone. This is just what I'm thinking, just based on the performances throughout the year and most recent. So what y'all think, ladies and gentlemen? Y'all with me with this one? Uh, y'all have other people that y'all think are going to get this done. But I know nobody else is probably thinking no lies can be beat at this point. 
that man is on fire and ready to go, I think. All right. So let's see if Usain Bolt record is going to be taken out this year. And that would be something that would be breaking news. So I'm getting my popcorn ready and gearing up for this, you know, event to start on this weekend when the rounds are going and get a better look to see who is actually going to pan out and, and step up and keep the consistency going and improve. And who's gonna set, you know, championship record or world records? But just give good performances, show heart. But anyway, that's it. My prediction for now, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all, let me know what you think. And hey, do me a favor. Supr uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what, what I'm doing. Um, like, share, so I can get promoted and you know get some some re more recognition. All right, I guess that's how the algorithms work. I don't always say, I always forget to ask people to like, share, and subscribe, but it would be nice to help me out a little bit, you know what I'm saying, trying to get to a thousand subscribers at least. Alright, so anyway, that's it. Y'all take care until next time.